Hello and welcome to the Media Composer 5 overview video. There's a lot of great new things to talk about in MC5. But we're going to start by covering probably one of the biggest changes to the application, and that's the expansion of the AMA architecture. AMA allows editors to directly and instantly access file-based media right from the sources. Now, the project we're working on today was shot on the XDCAM HD 50 megabit format. So to access this material via AMA, we just select File, Link to AMA Volume, and select that source disk. Without rewrapping or transcoding or importing or ingesting of any kind, we have access to that XDCAM material right within our bin. Camera speeds and marker. Now in Media Composer 5, the same process we just used for XDCAM can now also be used for QuickTime. Some of the material in this project was originated in Final Cut Pro, so I actually have some files that are in the ProRes codec. Bring those into Media Composer. I'm going to use the same process we used for XDCAM. Now in my bin, I have the original ProRes 422 files directly from the source. And marker. And it's not just ProRes that we can use now with QuickTime. A big trend in filmmaking right now is to use DSLR cameras for shooting HD video. Cameras such as the Canon 5D and Canon 7D have become very popular. In fact, the Canon 7D was also used in this project. So here we have four files that originated in a Canon 7D and are encoded in the H.264 codec. Set. And action. The beauty of AMA is that it allows camera manufacturers to actually write code for Media Composer to allow their formats to work directly with inside our system. Canon's new XF format is just one of those codecs that we can now use directly inside Media Composer. This time, rather than linking to an entire volume, I'm going to link to an individual file. So now with Media Composer 5.0, you can access P2, XDCAM, Ikigami's GF Cam, Canon's XF format, and QuickTime codecs such as ProRes and H.264 instantly and right from the sources.